Yes, guys, how we doing? So, what we're talking about is like, like how to get started, like how to sort of um, make it sort of like as appealing, or well, just make it as easy as we can to get started, take that first step, and then progress from there, okay? Because that's what, again, a lot of people sort of struggle with. Like some people struggle with like maintaining it, but some people just might like struggle to get started, okay? They keep putting it off, keep finding distractions, procrastinate, um, I should do this, I should do that. But again, like sort of months, weeks go by where it's like, I haven't actually done anything. I haven't done nothing I've said I was going to do. Um, so, yeah, you want to sort of, at the start, to make it just as easy, kind of really sort of break down the steps. Like, let's say you want to start going to the gym or you want to start running, whatever. Okay, just make it as easy as you can. You don't need to sort of think, I need to sort of go and like spend um, like 90 minutes in the gym or go and do like sort of a half marathon run. You want to just like sort of focus on just running like a K, running like it to the end of your street or just go into the gym and just be in there for 10 minutes, just doing something. That's all you need to focus on, okay? So you don't get overwhelmed by this like, oh shit, I have to do perhaps what I used to be able to do. I have to do this like the workout I used to be able to do or um, I have to do this workout sort of this fitness model does or I have to sort of do a run that I my mate's doing or I used to be. No, okay? That's overwhelming. That's sort of like putting up barriers. That's putting up sort of those obstacles okay those perceived obstacles like oh like that's another way you can talk yourself out of it so again you just reduce that okay you make it as, as appealing and as easy as you can so you just like okay all i've got to do today is perhaps if i want to run i just walk okay i just go for a walk or i just run to the end of my street i run a k so i tick it off i do a fucking run okay doesn't matter the size of it i just get started same with the workout i just perhaps go to the gym and i just sit there okay i just be in the gym environment Okay, for 10, 20 minutes. Then I sort of I can build the next day, okay? But again, it's just about starting there. It's starting that habit, starting the wheel turn, get some miles on that clock, okay? Um, and then from there, again, so you build those sort of little wins. You build that confidence because you've actually done what you said you would do, okay? That is the biggest thing, okay? The thing that's killing your confidence is you are not following through. You're saying you should be doing this. I want to be doing this. I'm going to be doing this. But you don't do it. That reinforces it and that kills you with confidence, okay? And it makes it so much harder each time you come to do it. So, I say, all you need to do is just, like, take the action. It doesn't matter the size of it, the intensity, okay? You take the action and then you just, bam, confidence, win. I did that action. I, I got a run in today. Man, yeah, it starts to feel good, okay? And then, guess what? Just do it again tomorrow, okay? That's all you've got to do, okay? You do it again tomorrow. So, from there then, to make sure you actually get it done, we want to sort of schedule it in, okay? We want to sort of create a time frame. We're not just like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym at some point today. No, what time are you going to the gym? And what day are you going, okay? I'm going at five o'clock, I'm going to the gym. And I'm going to be out of there by 5.45. I'm going to be out of there by six o'clock. And it's scheduled in. Like you would schedule any other appointment in. Any appointment you get from the hospital, the dentist, um, anything to do with, like, if you're meeting some sort of, uh, business or person or whatever, uh, something to do with your house, something to do with sort of, I don't know, a delivery, whatever, you are there. You are there for that appointment and you will not, you clear your, your calendar and you adjust your calendar for that appointment, okay? You'll take a day off work if needed, whatever, okay? Treat your workout with the same urgency. Make it the same priority, okay? Because, again, this is something that's going to actually benefit you and make you feel better rather than waiting around, sort of, I don't know, for some sort of delivery or the gas man or to go to the dentist, whatever, okay? So schedule it in. Schedule the time block, right? This is what's happening, okay? And this is what I'm going to get done. And like I said, it's just, you know then, okay? And just don't, like... Like, oh, just don't let that sort of, just give it the urgency and the priority it deserves, okay? Don't just like, oh, I just, I'll, I'll knock that back, I can do it again. No, because that's what you've done before, and that's where you are, where you are, okay? So again, start, yeah, schedule it in, make it as easy as you can, make it as low-key and as low, sort of, just easy to get started, easy to get some wins, build that confidence, build some momentum, okay? We don't have to sort of take on Everest just yet, okay? We just have to take a first step, that's all we've got to do, okay? And then you build from there. That's all it is. Don't sort of, those are the two main things, okay? Just like I said, schedule it in, create a sort of, like, like when can I sort of, um, when am I getting it done? And then make it as easy as you can. And then, what's the, pot, like, what are the potential of obstacles? What's going to arise that's going to stop me? What usually stops me? What are the usual speed bumps? And write them down. Acknowledge them. And then, obviously, deal with them, okay? What normally happens when I go to go to the gym, okay, what do I tell myself or what pops up or what stops me from going? 
and how can I deal with them? How can I overcome them? How can I reduce that? Okay. Um, so again, make the action even easier to take. Okay. So what is sort of the obstacles to stop you from taking? You're tired when you come home from work. Okay. Right. So perhaps do you have a coffee on the way home from work? Do you like go home from work and then perhaps train, train later? Do you train in the, like lunchtime? Do you train in the morning? Okay. Do you train as soon as you come home before you sit down on the couch? Whatever. Okay. Do you go to the sort of, do you not go home? Do you go to a sort of the gym on the way home? Okay. Um, whatever. Okay. Like I said, or just, have something to overcome and deal with the obstacle. Like I said, most of the time it could just be having a coffee at like four o'clock or having something, put some music on in the car, um, meeting someone at the gym, okay? Committing to someone. So, uh, or just, yeah, training in the morning, tra like you do before work, just done. Little things like that. Uh, perhaps sort of, I don't know, you, uh, what are more, what's, what, I'm trying to think what guys say, like what would the obstacles be? Like, so why you don't sort of perhaps go to the gym or get started? Um, you haven't got the gym clothes. You don't need gym clothes. You've got gym clothes, okay? You haven't got the right trainers. You don't, like, just put something on your feet, okay? That's all you need. Just get, get started. Again, these are just excuses we're finding, but there are obstacles that pop up that we tell ourselves, oh, we, we can't do it until we've got all the supplements. You don't need that, okay? Just start, okay? Like going to the gym and training is more important than any supplement and it will benefit you any, so much more. Uh, perhaps it's sort of, I am got the gym gear, I am got the trainers. God, you don't need it, okay? I am got a gym membership. Just go for a run then, okay? I'll do some press ups, just start. Again, these are all sort of obstacles, okay? Or I am, I'm not a member of a gym. Again, how long does it take to become a gym member these days? You go online, do a Google search, you find a gym that's close to you that you like the look of. You download the free pass, so you just buy sort of a membership there and then. You buy a page, you go, you just go, you book the time slot and you go, okay? It doesn't take a week. Um, so these are just like the obstacles that normally pop up and they could throw us off track to stop us. So we need to tackle these, be aware of them and just like, how can we like sort of reduce them? Then sort of make it easy as we can to sort of take action, reduce the sort of perceived sort of, oh, I, oh, like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. And make it appealing and just kind of feel so much better from this. This is going to make me, this is going to get me started and schedule it. You start doing this and it's just, yeah, you're going to start, going to make it so much easier to succeed. Okay, yes, you still have to take action. You have still have to take the step, yes. But again, it's removing the obstacles and making it as easy as we can to get it done. And then it's just building from there each day, okay? Consistency, right? Don't do the next day, don't do the next day. Don't worry about sort of like ramping up just yet, going like into fourth or fifth gear. Stay in first gear. Stay in first gear and then go into second gear, okay? Hope it helps, guys. Any help you need, any help needing to get started, drop me a message and I'll see how I can help. Peace.